Coming up on Parks Plus, Green Spring Gardens is the gift that keeps on growing as it marks a milestone anniversary. Find out why this park's history is as rich and colorful as the gardens for which it is known. Learn about its many achievements over the years and what lies ahead as Green Spring continues to grow and prosper. Hi, I'm Karen Carbone, and that's all coming up next on Parks Plus. It's been 50 years since Michael and Belinda Strait said farewell to historic Greenspring and gave the home, its outbuildings, and 18 acres to Fairfax County for preservation as a natural and historical resource for the community. Their generous gift marked the end of nearly 200 years of private ownership and the beginning of its transformation into the present day Greenspring Gardens. Greenspring Gardens a Fairfax County Park Authority public garden and historic site is celebrating its first half century. Green Spring Gardens has a history um, to match the rich and colorful uh, gardens that we have here today. The history uh, goes back much farther than the history of Green Spring Gardens, which of course began 50 years ago in 1970. But our history as Green Spring Farm goes back to 1777 when the, uh, the land was purchased by, uh, by a John Moss who then built the house in uh, 1784. Many families uh, lived here. We uh, were not identified with, with one family in particular. We have a long chain of ownership here, but that gives us lots of interesting stories to tell. Many of those residents had, uh, had fascinating lives. Uh, many were uh, either in local politics or even at, um, uh, at a national level, in national affairs. They farmed the land, they raised families here, and, uh, and they all left their imprint here. Creating Green Spring Gardens and preserving the legacy of Green Spring Farm became possible with a gift that was made 50 years ago. On October 27, 1970, the Washington Post reported, Green Spring Farm, a miniature colonial estate near Annandale, was given to Fairfax County yesterday for use as a museum and arboretum. The property was the gift of Michael W. Strait Deputy Chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts, and his former wife, Dr. Belinda Crompton Strait, a Washington psychiatrist. The Strait's gift to the Park Authority included the 1784 house, the farm's outbuildings, and 18 acres of land. It was made to be used solely as a public park, which coincided with Fairfax County's transformation from a farming community to a dense metropolitan suburb. In his 2004 memoir, on Green Spring Farm, Michael Strait reflected on the disappearance of his home's bucolic setting. Twenty-four years had passed since Ben and I settled on Green Spring Farm. By 1964, we were no longer living in the countryside. Bulldozers were clawing at the open fields that had surrounded us. Wheels were set in motion to develop a community resource that would remain an oasis in the middle of the encroaching suburban sprawl. The gift that the Straits gave to Fairfax County is a perfect example of the foresight that generous residents had to protect their property for generations to come. The Park Authority has been built by residents who had such foresight to protect their property as they were seeing development occur all around them. They protected their property so it could be enjoyed by the community in the future. A small horticultural center was built in 1982 and the first of Green Spring's 22 demonstration gardens were installed. Green Spring Gardens became the only public garden of the Fairfax County Park Authority. A significant expansion of the Horticultural Center was completed in 1995 
and the remaining demonstration gardens were planted. The park itself also expanded as the Park Authority acquired surrounding land parcels over the years to make up Green Spring's present day 31 acres. Green Spring Gardens is now a multifaceted resource that attracts 200,000 visitors annually. Its educational mission and function within the community are unique. The gardens are designed to demonstrate a wide range of gardening styles and to feature plants suitable to Northern Virginia. They provide living demonstrations of horticultural techniques and are used along with lectures, symposia, workshops, guided tours, and exhibits to foster responsible gardening practices by county residents. The gardens here at Greenspring have developed over the last 50 years significantly in the sense that originally it reflected the way agriculture was in Fairfax County to honor that agriculture. And then over time they have modified to be more organic gardens and then have grown to include more native plants as we understand more about how native plants are important in our built environment. The gardens, woodland stream valley, and ponds are used year-round in curriculum-based school programs, which serve over 7,000 elementary school children annually. Historic Green Spring and its landscape is interpreted through a wide range of programs. History meets hospitality at the Historic House, where popular educational afternoon teas have been served since 1995. Whether visitors come to Green Spring for community, for learning, for recreation, or for quiet contemplation, the Straits Gift has grown into a place that enriches the lives of so many, young and old, every day. Up next, we'll take a look at the many accomplishments Green Spring Gardens has achieved over the years, right after this break. Did you know? On March 6, 1965, Dr. Belinda Crompton Strait joined a small team of doctors who traveled to Selma, Alabama to provide emergency aid and triage to civil rights marchers walking from Selma to Montgomery in support of voting rights for blacks. John R. Lewis, a principal organizer of the marches, was among the many injured by police and treated by Belinda. In 2007, as a congressman from Georgia, he and Belinda met for the first time since Selma. Green Spring Gardens is a must-visit park that has achieved many milestones during its first half century. The Friends of Green Spring, Frogs, was formed in 1993. The group provides vital financial and volunteer support for a wide range of programs and improvements. Green Springs Witch Hazel Collection, over 215 plants representing 110 different types, became an accredited national collection of the American Public Gardens Association Plant Collections Network. Greenspring earned accreditation by the American Alliance of Museums, acknowledging its commitment to excellence, stewardship, and the careful management of its living collections, the plants. Greenspring was placed on the National Register of Historic Places and the Virginia Landmarks Register in recognition of its historical significance. Nominations were based largely on work that was commissioned by the Straits in 1942, when colonial revival architect Walter Maycomer renovated the house and pioneering landscape architect Beatrix Ferrand created a designed landscape around it. Historic Green Spring was deemed worthy of a Virginia Historic Highway marker that was installed by the park's entrance and signals its place in history to all passers-by. The Garden Club of Virginia restored key elements of the historic Beatrix Ferrand landscape, helping Greenspring to preserve her work and educate visitors about her important cultural legacy in American landscape design. A master plan, an historic structures report, and a cultural landscape report were completed. These important documents will help to guide Greenspring's preservation planning and landscape management into the next 50 years. 
what will the next half century bring? Greenspring will continue to be a cherished place. But gardens are never static, so they will continually grow and change. Buildings may also grow and change to meet the increased needs of the park's educational programming. Don't go away. When we return, we'll learn about the new garden that will be installed to commemorate Green Spring Garden's 50th anniversary. Did you know the Community Horticultural Group at Green Spring Gardens administers 10 Fairfax County Farmers Markets and 671 garden plots in nine host parks? In addition, Green Spring has its own unit of Extension Master Gardeners. More than 200 trainees have been certified in the last 17 years. To commemorate Green Spring's 50th anniversary, a permanent architectural feature will be installed, along with a new Asian-inspired garden, the Moongate Garden. Moongates originated in ancient Asian gardens, offering enticing passageway between garden spaces and piquing interest in what lies beyond. Greenswing is commemorating our 50th anniversary, our golden anniversary, in many different ways. Uh, we are offering different programs focused on the history here at Greenspring in the last 50 years. We are also uh, delving into fun scavenger hunts uh, with the theme of 50. Uh, right now here at Greenspring, you could go and look out for 50 different frogs. Of course, though, our big, big celebration and the way that we will honor this significant milestone here at Greenspring is by the installation of a moon gate. A moon gate is a popular public garden element. Um, it's a beautiful uh, structure that it will be installed in our gardens. It will connect the history of our last 50 years to the future of our next 50 years. It will provide wonderful opportunities for events, uh, photography, which are um, two big ways that people come and enjoy Greenspring. As Greenspring Gardens looks ahead, it will continue to preserve and interpret its past telling stories of the Strait family and those who came before them on Green Spring Farm, and providing insight into a long-gone Garyan lifestyle in Fairfax County. It will continue to protect the generous gift made 50 years ago, a gift that created a thriving center for all who love gardening and nature and revere our past. Well, that's it for our show today. I hope you enjoyed it. For more information about Green Spring Garden's 50th anniversary, log on to their website or stop by for a visit. See you next time.